Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, I am going to teach some basic and easy steps to set up unattended robot in UiPath Orchestrator. To set up unattended robot, the very first thing we have to do is log into cloud.uipath.com and then you need to open the particular tenant. In case you don't see this tenant, you can directly also access through your orchestrator option. If you are in the home page, simply click on this particular tenant. Once you are inside the UiPath orchestrator tenant, there are three different ways through which you can set up unattended robot. The first option is clicking on the plus sign and you can click on unattended robot. This is the very first way this will bring to this page. The second way, you can go to tenant, click on robots, click on unattended setup. And this is the second way. There is also a third way that is going to the machines, clicking on unattended setup. Whichever way you take, it brings you to the same page. Doesn't matter from where you start. You can start from any of these three options. It will bring you to the same page. On this page, you see there are multiple options. UiPath hosted automation cloud robot, wherein UiPath is giving you option to go for a serverless. This is basically for a background automation and run cross platform. That means automations to be run on a Mac system, on a Linux system, on a different, you know, apart from the Windows cross platform. It can run in any kind of a platform. For that, we would go for serverless. This could be another topic. Right now, we would be interested on the self-hosted unattended robot. Most of the companies do prefer this. They have their own virtual machines upon which they would like to run their unattended automation. In this one, there are two options given. One is machine template static group host machines with the same physical setup. Bring your own machines. That means a company has its own machines and would like to use them as a virtual machine where they would be running unattended robot. And decide if you want to UiPath to support with infrastructure management. So these are a couple of multiple options. There's also a second option called Elastic Robot. That again, it's currently disabled under probably preview. Now look at this option, machine template. This is the option most of the companies would go with. Self-hosted and then machine template. Once you select this option, here you would be hitting on next. So what is this machine template is about? That means you have a virtual group of virtual machines with the same Windows operating system or Windows server and then all the configurations are same, the similar kind of environment you have, right? So you will go with this kind of a machine template option here and hit on next. Pretty simple option. And then the very first thing it will ask you, add a machine. In case you already have made setup, you would see the machines added over here. If not, you have to first click on add machine. The first thing you have to tell, where is the machine? What is the machine, right? Hit on add machine. The very first step, tell me the machine details. So here we should provide the name of the machine. Now for that, what you do, go to the unattended, uh, go to the UiPath assistant. For this, let me hit on window search and type assistant. You can type UiPath assistant and open this up. Once this is open, the very first thing I would like to know the machine name. Click on preferences. You can provide any name here, but having a standard name is always good. So go here, go to orchestrator settings and select uh, machine, machine key. And here you see the machine name. I'm going to copy the machine name from here. You can also, some of the companies would also have their own standard, how to write that. So you can put your own standard here. So now I have put a machine name. The next thing it is asking you, hey, you have got certain licenses. So now you can see it will show you the total licenses divided by one. That means I have one production unattended license. And the second one, I have only one testing license. Now in a company, you might be having 10, 20, 15, 100, does matter, right? Based on the licenses the company has purchased for them. Now here I have only one because it's a community edition that we are using. 
I'm going to select one and let's say any one license, right? Whether would you like to use it for unattended or would you like to use it for testing based on that you and you might see more licenses below that if you are working on an organization where multiple different licenses could be purchased. So here we are interested in production unattended. So I would be selecting that license. So this machine has got a license now. So hit on next. So what is the very first step? You setting up a machine. Pretty simple. And you are allocating a license to it. Done. After this is done, then the next step is robot account. So what happens here? You would see once you have added that that particular machine is get automatically selected. All you do hit on next. Now the next one is robot account setup. So machine you have set up, you have given a license. Next is you set up your robot account. It should have an account. So every machine when you log in, it has an account, correct? You have a username, you have a similar way a robot account is required for that machine. So here all I will do click on create new robot account. Pretty simple. And then here there are two options you would get. Use a specific Windows account foreground and background execute background only. So the options would slightly vary. So here you should I'll be going with use a specific Windows account because sometimes I have to run foreground. Sometimes I have to run background. Mostly a foreground automations would run sometimes back. So I would go with the first option. Once you go with the first option, it asks you to enter a robot name. So generally what I will do the machine name I have kept as Rakesh. So with the same machine name, I'll have put a hyphen and say robot. So you, if there are multiple machines, you can differentiate by the name of the machine, right? Rakesh robot or sometimes people give robot one, robot two, robot three like that based on the need you can choose. So here I have given a specific name. After that, it is asking, give me your domain slash username. How do you find domain slash username? Click on Windows and type CMD. This has to be done on that machine where you are setting up the unattended robot. There you should simply type who am I? Who am I? Getting it and hit on enter. So whatever information comes here, that becomes your domain name. Okay, domain username. So the first one is the domain Rakesh. So for the company, it could be a company name and then it should have some name of username. So this is the domain username. So where in the virtual machine where you would log in and set up your unintended, there you check this. So it will have its own username, it will have its one company name and the robot name, things like that, it will be there. So simply copy paste. Once this is done, then this password of that machine has to be always stored in a you know, credential store. If you have multiple credential stores, it will be shown here. Generally, if you don't have, by default, orchestrated database will be shown so that the password of the machines are stored securely and encrypted, right? So this is done and here you have to enter the machine password, the Windows password. So let me enter my Windows password. Okay, so you enter the Windows password of your machine, of your doing for a company, you have the password, enter that. And select the credential type. So because it is a Windows credential, it gives you other credential type options also, Luna credential system for different, different uh, system types, N shield key storage provider, smart card, Windows credentials. I'll go with Windows credential. Okay. And here there's an option called run only one job at a time. This option restricts the user to running only one job at a time. If this is required, you check it. Otherwise, leave it as it is. I would leave as it is. Allows robot account to read all these options. These are important. Run background unattended automations. You can run background automations. Run foreground unattended automations under a specific Windows user account. That's why you have given the user account and the password. Credentials are used by the robot to sign in into the physical or virtual machine running a Windows OS. So sometimes if nobody is working, it will get logged. So when you provide a password, it will use to log in into that and then do the job, right? For the foreground automation. So pretty simple. We set up the machine. We set up the robot. Now here hit on next. So what happened? Machine is done. Now robot account we have created, Rakesh robot. I'm going to select that. Automatically get selected once you have created and then hit on next. Pretty simple steps. Machine, robot. After that, it will ask you, okay, 
which are the folders where you would like to give access to you could be very specific it would be for the it team so you would only select it and hit on next but because it's my community account i would be selecting all the folders that are available at the moment and hit on next okay now here you get the machine key and the client secret now this machine key i am going to copy from here and i am going to open my assistant here you should select look at it in the assistant how you navigate you click on this dot and then click on first you sign in okay first you sign in all right so now it has become green now go here click on preferences orchestrator settings now it has connected to the service url now i don't want service url i wanted to connect using what i want to connect using machine key so machine key and then the machine name is selected you provide the orchestrator url and this url you can copy until orchestrator okay every company whatever names it is there doesn't matter cloud.uapart.com then your company name and tenant name and all these things would come copy until orchestrator go back and do that okay so here i have already have that same thing now enter the machine key now to get the machine key here you have got it i'll go back and enter the machine key and then hit on connect okay now you can see it has connected licensed edr protection detected so this is the entire step of setting up the unattended robot now let's hit on done and if you go here to the machines you can see your machine is shown here if you go to robots you can see the rakesh robot the robot account that you have created that is being shown here now if you go to any folders tenant and folders and select this you would see if you go to the machine the machine is already added and if you for example if you go to accounts and group you would see the robot account so it's a quite a small page let me slightly minimize this okay so if you could see it here this is the robot account rakesh robot this has been added for example if i edit a role and all that you can see this is the rakesh robot do you see the name so this is how you complete your unattended setup so thank you guys you know happy automation continue to learn ui path this is one of the tool which has added lot many features lot many interesting features to make our life easy so thanks for watching let's connect once again in our next content